All right, this is lesson 11.5a, Intermediate Algebra, Common Logarithms, and Natural Logarithms. And up until this point, we have been using various bases. We've written a log, and then we put a number down there. Or we'd write a log, and we'd put a, num a letter down there, or a different letter, or a different number. Okay, and we'd figure out the answer. Well, fortunately for you, we're going to make a little bit of a change here. And for the most part, logarithms are either going to have a 10 or one other um, base, and we'll get to that later. But anything with a log 10 is called a common logarithm. And those are the ones that we're most often going to use. So if we have something like the log of 10 of 100, what that means is what exponent can we put on 10 to give us 100? Well, what number does this have to be in order for 10 to some power to give me 100? 2. So the logarithm base 10 of 100 is 2. So again, what I'm asking for when I say what is the logarithm, I'm asking for the exponent. What exponent can I put on this number to give me this answer? Okay, so if I give you the log base 10 of, let's say, 1,000. That means what number can I put on that to give me 1,000? And this is back before calculators, so that's why they use logarithms, is because um, it gave them a simple way to, to solve these problems without having a calculator. Now that we have calculators, there's still lots of other reasons to use logarithms, a lot of formulas. So, we'll keep going. And because common logarithms always have a 10 right there, it's kind of like writing x. Do you always put a 1 in front of the x? No, you would say x equals 3. You wouldn't put the 1 there. Okay, even though you know it's there. It's the same with logarithms. Even though we know there's a 10 there, we might just write it as log of 100 because there's an assumed 10 right there. So what that means is <coughs> 2 um, goes on 10 and gives us 100. Now, you can end up with some weird stuff. So let's say, for instance... Um, in fact, you can write any number in the whole history of the universe with a log base 10 because the exponent just may look weird. So you could have log 10 of 3.212. That means what exponent can I put on 10 that will give me an answer of 3.212? Okay? Well, if we put... Um, a 1 on our 10, 10 to the first power is 10. If we put a 2 on there, we get 10 to the second power, which is 100. If we put 10 to the 0 power on there, we get 1. So 10 to the 0 is 1. 10 to the first is 10. Well, we want a number somewhere in between there. So the number that we're going to put as our exponent is going to be a number between 0 and 1, which means it's going to be a decimal. Okay, So you, you can end up with some really kind of weird numbers here. All right, so let's look at some common logarithms here. And again, these videos take a little bit of time because I just want to make sure you're, you're getting this. What if I have the log of 1? That's going to be 10 to what power equals 1. Okay, and we already said that any number to the 0 power is going to be 1. So the log of 1 is going to be 0. What exponent can I put on 10 to give me 1? Um, if I have the log 0 0.01, that means... What number can I put on x that's going to give me 0 0.01 for 
for an answer. And that particular one is going to be negative 2. 10 to the negative 2 equals 0 0.01. Okay, now let's look at this. What does 10 to the negative 2 look like? 1 over 10 squared, right? Because the negative 2 is in the wrong place, so we put it down here. And that equals 1 over 100. 1 over 100 is the same as 1 hundredth, right? Because this is the 10 position, this is the hundredths. So that is the same as that. So 10 to the minus 2 works for that. This is why on your calculator you have a key that looks like that. <clears throat> so if you put in any number like 0 .01 and you hit this key, it will give you um, negative 2 for an answer because it's just going to give you the um, exponent. All right, so let's keep going here. Um, use a calculator to find the log of 2,760. And again, this is where you put in this number, you hit your log key. In some calculators, you hit your log key first and then put this number in there. But when you do that, you should get... Um, Let's see, what answer are you going to get? See, I don't have a calculator with me. 3.4409 is what you're going to get for an answer. So what that means is 10 to the 3.4409 power is going to equal 2,760. So 10 to this power. So you can put it, you can get a decimal for your exponent. And again, all you're looking for when you're looking for the log of a number is the exponent when that exponent is put on this base and most of the time your base is going to be a 10 okay so let's look at log of 0 0.0391 and again looking I mean you just plug that in your calculator but again to let you know what that means what exponent goes on x or goes on 10 that's going to give me that number and that this particular answer is going to be x equals negative 1.4078 okay all right so let's jump down to example number 4 which says Find x if the log of x is 3.8774. So we have in exponential form 10 to the 3.8774 power equals x. So we're trying to find out that. So if we put 10 to this power in our calculator, it's going to spit out an x. All right, so different calculators are different, uh, have different keys, but in order to do this, you should have a key that looks like this. And it actually should be this key. Okay, let me put, see if I can put a picture on here. Okay, so here's a picture of my phone. And see, I have this, I have a log key right there. And then I have this key right there that's in my, my shift. All right, so what you're going to do then is you put your number, um, 3.8774, and then click that button, or 3.8774. Let me try it here. So on my phone, it works that way. You put in the number, the exponent, because see that's where your x is. The x is what you're looking for. So you put that number in, and then you click the shift, and then that key there. And that'll give you your answer of 7,540. So that's what happens when you are looking for um, this information. All right, so that is called the anti 
log rhythm. Or they'll call it the anti log. Okay, so the log rhythm is the exponent. When you're looking for the exponent, you're you're given the, you're asking for the log. When you're looking for the answer given the exponent, it's called the anti-log. Okay, so let's look at that again. Let me erase some of this, and we will explain it one more time. So if I'm asking for the log of 100, I am asking for the exponent when we put it on 10 that'll give me 100. So that's the logarithm. If I give you 10 and I give you that 2 and I want to know this number, that is the anti-log. So it's just um, what you're looking for. Okay, so if I put 2 on my calculator, my exponent, and then I hit the shift 10 of x, it should give me 100, because I'm taking this. Okay, so 10, I'm, or I'm going to put um, 2, and then I'm going to hit shift here, and that will give me 100. Alright, so when I'm looking for this number here, that's the uh, anti-log. When I'm looking for the exponent, that's the log. So it just depends on what I'm looking for here. Okay, so if we look at example 5, they give us the log of x. Okay, let's get the log of x on here. And that equals negative 2.4179. Okay, so 10 to the negative 2.4179 equals x. That's what it is in exponential form. So you take your calculator and you type in this number and then you hit the 10 of x key and then that will give you your answer. That will give you the anti-log which uh, is 7,500 whoops, I'm sorry, looking at the wrong one here. I was going to say, wait a minute, that's what we got on the last one. Gives me 0 0.00382. So 10 to that exponent is going to give me that for an answer. All right, so let's look at some applications. And an application is a fancy way of saying story problems. Gag. Okay, so what they'll do is they will give you all the information you need in order to to solve these. And the main one I want you to look at is top of page 692 which has to do with pH. So if we have pH and that is negative log of H positive. Okay, you don't have to know what any of that means. Okay, you just have to know um, where to put the numbers. So if you look at example 7, normal rainwater has a pH of 5.6. So 5.6 goes here instead of pH. What is the concentration of the hydrogen ion? So the hydrogen ion is that right there. Okay, so we've got the 5.6, we have the negative log of the hydrogen ion. Okay? So we're looking for this H with the plus sign by it. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch this around so that it's in the form we're used to. So let's put this on the left. Okay? And then let's write it in exponential form. So um, let's take this negative and put it over here. So really remember in algebra, if you want to change the signs of things over here, you change the signs on both sides and that's okay. So we make that into a positive, which means that changes signs over there and becomes a negative. Okay? So now we have that. Alright, now what do we do? Well, we put it in exponential form. And, and we will do that on the next video.